What purchase do you most regret? Two 11 foot stand up paddle boards. I live in an apartment with no garage. I do not have a car with a roof rack. I do not live near water. I bought a Nintendo Wii U a week before they announced the Switch. Edit. A word. Does leasing a 2005 Subaru ST for $736 a month count when I only made about $1,500 a month net? I once bought a plant for 20 bucks. And then I saw that you could buy the same one in another store for 2. 50. My day of the week socks. I already lost one of the Friday socks and now the whole thing is ruined. Buying a boat with some friends to go to Potterhawk. An annual boat festival in Lake Erie. Bought the boat on Friday. Spent Saturday tuning it up. Sunday was the festival. While riding the boat though we ran out of gas. The wake behind the boat. Which was overloaded with people and beer. Then flooded the boat. Our boat sank in the middle of Lake Erie and the Coast Guard had to pick us up. A full size, 88 key, electric piano. It sat at my apartment for 5 months. Unused. Before I admitted to myself I was never going to get around to lessons. Sold it for $100. And that was the highest they'd go. Colon. Open bracket. I once bought one. 000 plastic flamingos off of Amazon while drunk and now I have a bunch of plastic flamingos downstairs in my basement. My horse. He's 28. Unrideable. In good health and an asshole. I think I'm going to have to pay his bills forever. I went to the Met Opera and ordered a whiskey cocktail at the bar. The bartender said is this one fine picking up a bottle from the bottom shelf. So I said sure. It was $27. I bought this thing of chainmail off Amazon. Thing was a piece of shit. Wrong size and it wasn't even made properly. The bits that were supposed to be sleeves were hanging off the back where your shoulder blades would be. Tried return it for a refund. But since it was shipped from India it would have cost me twice what I paid for the thing. So I'd lose more money just trying to get my original money back. Left a bad review as a warning to people. And my review was removed for making false statements about the company product. Buying accidental death insurance instead of whole life insurance for my husband and myself. He died fairly young of cancer. When I was fresh into my first year of college I hit the mall with the cash my parents gave me for living expenses. I got stopped by one of those girls at the kiosks trying to sell me a special exfoliant. She demonstrated it on my hand and I could see the dead skin sloughing off before my eyes. In her heavy accent she told me that. For me. The price was just $18. I was sold and told her that yes. I would purchase this miracle product. When she rang it up I saw that the price was actually $80. Not $18. And I had misheard her due to her accent. I was too embarrassed to back out of the purchase at that point. So I kept my mouth shut and went through with buying the ridiculously expensive skincare product. Needless to say I felt like a real chump and did the Charlie Brown walk out of the mall with my wallet empty. Destined to live off of ramen for the rest of the month. A large kiddie pool which one of our cats, the really fat one, decided was a huge water bowl and tried to drink from it at night after the inflatable bit at the top had lost some air. I awoke to water rushing out of it and pooling near the house. It caused a horrific amount of mold to grow in the basement right under my bedroom to which I am unfortunately allergic. It took months for my parents to figure out what was making me sick. Every textbook ever. Spent thousands on books that we barely used and can't resell because those bastards in Pearson and other publishers shti out new editions every year which are the exact same shti different cover. Pearson is the EA of textbooks and every professor that demands their students to buy the brand new edition instead of older ones should be kneecapped. My wife wanted a PT cruiser when she was 19. We were married then. But I told her absolutely not. Do not buy RF King new PT cruiser. But she did with her mama's cosign. She was then upside down in that piece of shti for ages. That was 2007. We traded it in 2013. 
My god what a turd it was. Everything you did to it cost hundreds of dollars. Even basic maintenance sometimes. That car drained our finances in a time when we should have been saving. I bought a brand new truck last year. I can afford it. But I just think it's too much for me. I almost feel uncomfortable driving it kind of like I don't deserve it. I bought a cheap computer. I thought it would be enough for my needs. It wasn't. So I had to buy a new one 6 months later. An expensive lesson learned. About 10 years ago I spent all my graduation money on a gaming laptop for my boo power. Com. On paper it was top tier mobile hardware for 2008. Which was stupid since I just kept playing Warcraft 3 and certainly didn't need all that power for that. It had serious overheating issues from the start and I sent it in for repair once on warranty. Came back and nothing was different. Their customer support was absolutely worthless and it cooked itself to death after a year. Just as the warranty expired. This laptop sat on my dorm desk. On a cooling pad. 100% of the time. FCK that company. And FCK my neighbor. My house. Seriously. Sometimes you're better off just renting. When I was pregnant. I thought it would be a great idea to buy a giant beanbag chair to replace our old uncomfortable couch. Turns out. The thing is like. 100 pounds and just as uncomfortable. But it's horrible for having guests over. Not to mention embarrassing. We are both 30 something years old so we are way too old for a beanbag as the centerpiece of our living room but we can't afford a new couch and even if we could. We don't have a truck to get it here. My father said he needed money. But had a mortgage and couldn't get a loan. He would put the car in my name. Then I can get a loan from my bank against the car and he would pay it off. Got approved for an 8k loan. Gave my dad the money and he never paid off the loan. I bought a car that day. Fish. Too much stress on me taking care of those critter. Tank cycle. Type of food. Type of tank mate. Water parameter. Ammonia. pH. Nitrate. Nitrile. Co. Code 2. Mineral. ETC. Temperature. Algae control. Parasite control. Bacteria control. Both good and bad. Comma. Type of food. Fish disease. Tank cleaning procedures. Budgeting. Scheduling. Chemical and medicine knowledge and much much more I have to study in order to keep my fish happy. Heal tea and maintain my pristine tank condition. All this tea and you know what I have? One better fish. One bristle nose pleco two nerite snail and four mystery snail. Two golden. Two black. Close bracket. Sometime I just want to gave it all away. P.S. This tea started with one rescue Oscar Cichlid I rescued months ago. I bought one of those swimmable mermaid tails. I was making a lot of money at the time, for me, so it wasn't a big deal. I used it once at the beach. My boyfriend took some pictures of me. Then we got pissed off because our dogs were misbehaving and we left the beach. I do not have a pool. I do not have access to a clean pool. I don't live close to a beach. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this stupid thing. It's so pretty though. Edit. Not trying to sell it. It isn't one of those fancy silicone ones. Thanks for the offers though. Does 90% of my wardrobe count? Because I should not have 6 closets worth of clothes. Full stop. Full stop. Someone help me. Most of it is from high school before I had bills to pay but still. Close bracket. This is buried but I feel like telling a story. About a decade ago. I totaled my car right before my mom lost her apt and went into rehab. My ends check was exactly her payoff AMT plus $11. Seemed like fate. She signed over title. Wound up letting her move in. She got job and new car. Fast FWD1. 5 years. I got sideswiped and that car was totaled. I never knew I had to turn in a title transfer. And she sure as hell didn't tell me. According to Inns Company. The car is still legally hers. They pay out 7k. 
She gives me 3k to buy a clunker. It's my car anyways. You never actually bought it from me. After I kept it from getting repoed and gave her free housing for several months after rehab. I should've known better. Vegas 24 hours buffet pass. Had to do my Vegas trip revolving around that pass. Most of the food are mediocre and I had to pay extra for the Caesars Palace Bacchanal buffet. I had a personal trainer for 9 months. I wasted about $2. 500 on that. It's not that he was bad. It was that I didn't take it seriously and got into a depressive state. Then I felt bad for him near the end as he was struggling too so I stayed a month or three longer than I wanted to. I said I moved with my girlfriend to a different state. As for a friend's worst purchase. L. They said a drone. They used it twice. Dumbasses thought they could fly anywhere but we were within 5 miles of a major air force base. When I was in high school I bought a car from a buy here pay here that had a device in it under my steering wheel that would make this awful beeping ringing sound when it was close to my payment due date. And if you missed your due date it would stop the car from turning on. The only way to turn it off was to make my payment and get a code that I would type in with a remote that I pointed at the device. A few times they gave me the wrong code. Which means the device couldn't turn off. And my car wouldn't turn on. They said removing it would be considered grand theft auto. One weekend this left me stranded in Cleveland. It was awful. The offices were closed over the weekend so I had to wait until Monday to get back in. Aside from the insane amount of money I ended up paying for this 2000 book. I'm convinced that machine messed up the wiring in the car. The reason I think that is because after I paid the car off, yeah I paid the entire 5 year loan on a 2000 book I bought in 2009. I think my payments were like $250 a month on a part time waitress income. Comma they took the device out but after that sometimes the car would just turn off while I was driving. It would happen when I used my turn signals. Highways were an anxiety filled nightmare. I was constantly torn between needing to change lanes and wanting to signal but being afraid that my car would turn off if I did that. Biggest regret is trading in my Chevy Malibu for a Kia Optima. Two totally different driving experiences. From wood grain. Auto start. Heated seats. And sunroof to nothing impressive at all. Plus. My Malibu was paid off. Never buy a car that you really not feeling. Walk away from the deal. I never should have gotten into aquariums. Teenage me was fascinated by them and once I got into my 20s and had my own money coming in I upgraded to a bigger. Tropical one that was so much time and money to maintain which I now wish I spent actually going out and having a life instead. And X200B. Finally sold my tank last year. I'm 30 now, after realizing I don't want to sink my 30s into it like I did my 20s. Glad to see the damn thing gone. Bought a bunch of high heels in my 20s. Tried wearing them at home to get used to them. Just got used to falling and foot aches. Thankfully gave it all to my friend. He loves wearing heels and was happy to have them. Edit. My first are. Thank you so much. And yes. He can walk in heels much better than many women I know. And look good doing it. Membership to Bailey's 90s era. For those who don't remember. Gyms back then were contracts and Bailey's had the worse. 3 year contract I agreed to that I was stuck with. They began closing down right as I finished my last payment. Don't regret it 100% but I wish I would have used the $800 spent on a tattoo for other more meaningful things. Samsung washer dryer. Washer was recalled within the first 3 months I owned it and it was an incredibly painful process that ultimately ended in getting a replacement that didn't look anything like the old one. Dryer lasted about 13 months and then started to fault. At 18 months it finally shti the bed, busted rollers. Busted pulley. Bent everything. Cracked drum. Never buying Samsung again. One quarter of a toasted bread loaf for $20. That's all that needs to be said. So I was originally going to buy one half of a toasted bread loaf for $20 but when I was looking away someone took one quarter of it and for some reason I still bought it. Edit. More info. 
I bought a $350 computer case with 6 USB ports because I thought that front ports is all I would get. $54 on lemonade and tea at a restaurant. I drink a lot of beverages when I eat dinner. I was at this upscale restaurant and lemonade was $9 with free refills and tea was $9 with free refills. The waiter offered me Arnold Palmer by mixing the two. I loved it and had 6 glasses over the course of the meal. $54 in Arnold Palmer's. Because they weren't free refills lol. I bought a 2014 VW Jetta new. I disliked it so much that a year later I traded it in. And ended up losing $10. 000 between what I paid for it and what the dealership offered me for it. I thought they might have been lowballing me. So I did a used car search and found that it was pretty close to retail price for that car. So yeah. That Jetta made me lose $10. 000 in a year. That's the purchase I regret the most. Fucking Nescaf Dolce Gusto. I hate this piece of shit. The pods are expensive as hell and it doesn't stop automatically so the coffee tastes shit. I got a small house thing for my rabbit that looked like a strawberry. When I put it in my room. He never touched it. Looked at it. Anything. Rock it if you see this. Sometimes RRS but I still love you. A robot vacuum cleaner. Sure he's cute. And we named him Skynet but he gets stuck under furniture so we have to move everything out of the way first and then really. What's the point? We've splurged for a quality one and hardly ever use him now. Half the baby stuff we bought before having our first. She grew out of newborn clothes in a week. I changed her on the ground instead of the changing table. She cosselt so she barely used her crib. And those are just some of the items. It's good to prepare for baby but you can find so much stuff used. Then if your kid decides she doesn't like it you don't feel guilty about getting rid of that brand new changing table. My car I own currently. Colon. Wish I would have gone for a used car for a while and saved some money. I bought the soldier boy airpids as kind of a joke gift for my friend. I bought them late November as a Christmas gift. They have yet to ship. I don't even think they're real and what's even worse is that the soldier customer support is done through Facebook Messenger. But don't worry I used PayPal and didn't enter any details on the website itself. Probably my Oculus Rift. It was around $700 when I bought it and I don't think I've even used it for 20 hours total in the 3 or so years I've had it. Years ago I paid for a personal trainer. I guess it made me go to the gym slightly more. Just on those personal training days. But it's something like $60 session while a normal gym membership is $30 month. A single session is maybe like 20% better than just going to the gym one day on my own. I regret buying my condo. I feel like I was pressured into buying it by my mom. Who is a real estate agent. My apartment was great. It was downtown and walking distance to everything but work. I regularly went walking downtown for an hour or two. My condo is out of town. A little bit further to work and not in walking distance to anything. There's no sidewalks nearby and as a result I can probably count on my hands the number of times I've been motivated to just go for a walk in the year and a half I've owned this place. On top of that it's costing me quite a bit more money per month. Especially if you include the repairs that needed to be done this summer. I was walking home from the bar once and a guy came out of an alley to talk to me. He was selling all kinds of electronic stuff. But mainly a projector and a screen for a fancy living room set up. All out of the back of a van. The guy was in a rush and I knew it was a scam or stolen or something so I just kept blowing him off but he lowered the price to $200 for the entire setup and I know that stuff is actually worth quite a bit so after carefully inspecting the box. It all looked legit and still brand new, I bought it. That was 4 years ago and it's all sitting under my stairs. I have a TV and can't be bothered. Never never ever, ever, buy a car on the internet unless you have an independent qualified honest mechanic do a comprehensive examination. Including car facts. Paint thickness and detailed service and. Important. Ownership history. Pictures of every little thing. 
Fortunately I kept a copy of the listing and had a mechanics detailed report. Not only got my money back but the perp never retrieved his car. Title was forged and the real owner already had his insurance check. I believe the thief got toasted. Definitely a new car. Had a baby and convinced myself that the safety features are necessary in order to protect her. Ended up paying it off in 3 years instead of 5 and promised myself my daughter would get it on her 16th birthday lol. New cars are great. But slightly used a much better financial decision. A VW Beetle. Circa 2005. Was the worst piece of junk. Bought it for my daughter in college. It was nothing but trouble and the only place which would work on it was the VW dealer. Regular shops refused to work on it BC of the way parts were crammed under the hood. Ugh. Microsoft Surface. Spent a good $500 on it used KT for a couple months and then I broke it after a year and a half I traded it L Amazon for $65. It was an expensive lesson about being impulsive. PS4. Not that it's a bad system or anything I just don't use it. Did the same thing with the Xbox 360. Picked it up to play with my brother and used it for like 10 hours. Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition. I'm so mad at myself for spending that money for a shtc and shti game but most of all feel mislead by one of my favorite series developers to the point where I legitimately will think 5 times over on a collector's edition before buying it going forward because we were did too dirty on this release. I tried so so hard to like it. 2. Thanks Todd Howard IT's because of you I now have trust issues with video games.